Hello and welcome to another Houdini quick tip. So in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how to use the snippet inside WAPS and what is the benefits and how it, it, it can make your life easier. So for example I'm going to create a geometry in, uh, inside put a, just a grid maybe 2 by 2 50 by 50 and I'm going to use uh, point pop and just connect here and just use a turbulent noise connect the position and output to CD so most of the time you use the VOPs for especially when you're dealing with the uh, with the noises because it uh, needs more work if you want to use it in wrangles so for example if you want to remove some geometry based on your color value you have right uh, one way is to just use the attribute triangle here and just uh, write some two line of wax is like if at cd dot r is less than chf so i am going to use a channel threshold let me just copy this name for now remove point zero and add pt now right so using this code if i create a channel you can just remove uh, if the value of the color is less than this number is going to remove it right and but you have to do this outside you cannot uh, if you want to do it this in, inside uh, the wops is going to be a little bit more complicated you know it's not much clear like this vexed wrangle is very clean and clear to understand so let me just delete this one and explain how you can do the same uh, in a WAPS. So first, if you need the snippet, this note, uh, the good thing is you can combine your, your notes here, like your graphical wax with uh, this code, with, uh, the co any code you write here. But this one needs some input and it works based on the input you give it and create some output and also you can use all the vex uh, uh, syntax here this is uh, very powerful for example if i connect the position here we get a p another p here and out p <clears throat> and now if i connect this one this output of p to here and write p is <clears throat> plus or maybe p dot y plus equals to for example 0.4 now you see this is going to move the, the grid up right now I'm going to just uh, do the previous example how you can do it one thing is very important you, you cannot use the at sign you don't need to use the at sign you just need to use the, the variable name or the attribute name you have right I have this turbulent noise the, ad, the output uh, name is noise right if I connect this one here it automatically creates an attribute called noise or actually is a local variable to this snippet it's not a uh, attribute to be able to see it here unless you export it right so I can use now this out noise and connect it to CD so we get the same result let me just remove uh, this code for now and use uh, the previous example I want to just delete some some points from this geometry the previous example I did with Vex, uh, with Vex I use the threshold right a channel so for this one we have to just create a parameter and I'm going to use the name the name the threshold and copy and this one to the label and yeah, connect this threshold to the next right it's going to create a threshold out now it's very easy if noise is less than threshold now because this is a, a variable and this noise is also this one and this is the threshold you can use remove point zero and by default you use at ptnum right but here you don't need to use at just use the ptnum 
This code is not going to work now if I press enter. It doesn't know what is the PTNUM, right? So what you need to do is just connect this PTNUM also as an input here. So now this understand what is the PT and you know that is, we don't have any error anymore. If I come here and just change this threshold, you can see we remove the points. And if I want to, for example, again, uh, just change the position Y, I can use P dot Y plus equals noise. And if I go up, you can see I can just remove uh, as before. And we also deform the, the geometry along the Y axis using our the noise we already have here. So this is very nice actually. You can do a lot of stuff. You can do use a for loops. You can use a while loops and all other VIX uh, functions. So yeah, that's that's it. I just want to show you how you can combine these uh, wops and snippets together. So I hope you enjoyed the video and bye.